Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome to um, this video. I have to figure something out for someone on the Ariser project. On Articlex, <clears throat> I don't want to hook you on, on a distro or something. We want you to learn about a free operating system based on Arch Linux. And however, how you want to do it, right? There are 42 ways to install Arch. That's up to you. So there are Arch Linux projects, the Carly project, the Riser project, ALC project. In the end, it's all Arch Linux. So what I'm gonna do is um, use the Arch Linux, uh, sorry, the Ariser ISO. So like I said, uh, a request to find something out, a question of somebody. <clears throat> and all the time, well, look at all these possibilities. A nice Arch logo, right? But it, it's, it's all, again, sorry, it's all Arch Linux. And once you get into that same tunnel vision that I have, that, that it, is, it is, doesn't matter with what you start, it is in the end um, choosing pieces of the puzzle. So you can down, download the Ariser ISO and boot up, and that's basically what I'm gonna do. All right, he installed Plasma. It's been a while since I've installed Plasma. Ariser, Ariser clone. The ISO has to be in there. <coughs> And that's not the ISO has to be in there maybe right probably somewhere I have the Ariser ISO but the question is where did I put it uh, maybe in the documents Ariser voila so the, the result is a 0501 I see well let's see if we can get something new like this Download a riser. Did I make something more recent? 0610. If you have problems in downloading, you go here, right? You say, okay, Sweden is actually normally faster for me. And where is it coming from? Okay, check, right? United States, Las Vegas, for Belgium, it's all too far away. Three minutes left. Whoa. And the uh, downloads, we can delete this one, we can delete that one. No, we're gonna keep this one. I'll keep this one, cut documents, Xero Linux. So that's the beta version, that's the next ISO from Xero Linux that's coming up. Our Arch Linux tweak tool has to work on that one. It's a spin-off from us based on ALCI and probably a little bit of uh, Carly as well because it's it's all mixed, right? Making calamars, changing things, the Arch ISO updates, it's all the same thing on both projects. But not a riser, right? A riser is without calamars. So if at some point in time in, in life, right, the project would stop then we would just probably continue with that with the scripts of pico and pico is on our discord channel you can ask him questions if you like documents organization right voila so that's number this while we keep around maybe and then we go to the Arclex out that's the new ISO that we're gonna present very soon beginning of July but now we're gonna talk about documents Ariser 06 all right yeah it's a lot of administration and yes, the Ariser project is, let's build an Arch Linux ISO. So it's pure Arch, nothing has changed. All of this is exactly the same as an Arch, but there is just one folder and another for development. That's on there as well. And a few scripts to make our lives easy. Now, if I just type LS, it will install XFCE. 
So let's go and make it a little bit difficult. Load keys BE Latin one. You may not have to do that, but this is my Azerty keys. If you if you ask the the folders from root, then you see there are two folders in there that's strange. Alice and Alice Dev. Dev is for development. So if there's two code in, I test the code. It works fine. It goes in Alice. So basically Alice is the folder. And here we have all these things. Start sounds like something, eh? it's green. Let's start this thing. Fine. Basically all the SH are now executable. Do I want to get something from the internet? So it's a GitHub. So if code has changed and the ISO is six years old, it will get in the new code. Simple as that. Yes. Huh? And it's up. It's it's all there now. No will say <coughs> what has changed. <coughs> Every SH is now schmodded, right? Executable. What we need to tell him is the configuration. So we are no need for sudo because we are root and we type the configuration not alias but alice.conf and in here if you just uh, use the page down button that's maybe easier you try to find xfce4 somewhere in there so it's all about parameters and choices line 151 desktop environment you know by default, I say just install me mm, that one. Just install me XFCE. And now I'll tell them to install KDE or Plasma. Other possibilities, you see them. Control X. Yes. Thank you. So now it's actually saved. Now we need to figure out how to launch this thing. Start is something else as it was in the beginning. Now we need to launch the script itself, and that's ls.sh. All right, all the rest is, is interesting, but this is ls.conf configuration, ls.ssh start installing, and then you can have a coffee. So, do you want to continue? Yes, boot and home, boot and root, and no home. Huh? There's no home partition. Sure. And from now on, I mean, it was already pure Arch, but it's it's not getting anything from any repos, just AOR if you want it. And Sublime Text is coming from AOR. But all the rest is pure Arch Linux servers. And here we're gonna get um, the base devel group, and the other group is well, there. They are gone. And just keeps on building and building and building. If there are things that are uh, wish list, right? Go to the GitHub of Pico and uh, ask him. And if there are errors, well, same applies. On GitHub, make an account and open an issue. All these explanations, right, are here. There is so much more detail in all these articles. And the thing is, if you down here are all the articles, no, wrong website here, that one. So if you go to home, these are all images. I can paste another one with this one, maybe. It's only 11 articles, so, and everything you need to know is there. The idea is that you build your own ISO with your own configuration. Now you're using my configuration and you have to edit everything. But what if you have a GitHub named Alice? and you put that on the Arch Linux ISO. You build it, you end up with an ISO, your ISO, with your configurations and your choices. Because maybe you've already made the decision, it's always gonna be Plasma, all right?
how do you say that that little parameter you keep that always there plus this and plus that and plus this all right where is my installation <laughs> Now we're at Plasma Desktop, I see. Let me close the door before somebody comes here. It's the sign I'm filming. <laughs> I should have this red light over my door. Making videos. A wonderful job Pico has uh, created has done with this if you like bash scripting it's certainly an interesting way to learn about functions and parameters and a really structured so it might give you some ideas to say oh that's how we did it Parubin you see it it's AOR there is no repo for Arclinx or Carly or Nemesis or Chaotix or Endeavor. It's just pure arch, grabbing the package built from AOR, building Inksy, building Sublime uh, text on the fly. There's nothing on the ISO like that. Yeah, it may sound strange, right? So now I can press escape to abort or R to reboot now. R to reboot now is good. Where is the simple screen recorder? Well, 12 minutes, right? I've explained a lot, but it's under three, four minutes and your operating system is up and running. Of course, it's not a complete uh, system, right? Watch out, right guys? Watch out. You know Wayland and Wayland and VirtualBox. Watch out. Voila, and now I have an operating system where I can help the beta tester in question. Now we've got Control T not working, console not there. I mean, yay, console is there. Then I can end with a nice new fetch, right? But it is still lots of stuff that you're missing. This is the purest Arch Linux install that you can have. Then I have chosen to have Melt and Sublime Text because we need to develop. We all are, other things are all coming from, from uh, well, a meta package basically, a meta package from Plasma, and they're all in. Choices, right? Always choices. What do I install on my system? All right. Cheers.